Yes, yes, I am ready. I'm glad to hear your voice. anything and don't worry about failing, don't worry about uh, having a little bit of trouble, but just try different things and, and be encouraged. I think those were my biggest um, advocates for when I was a kid and, and trying to do things that were a little bit different. So I would have to say my parents and I would say to the girls there that same advice, just try anything and see what you like. You know, don't be stuck in one thing or another. See what uh, science, technology, engineering, math, arts, what do you find that you like and pursue it? Over. So, yes, we do have free time, and so a lot of the times we want to look at our beautiful planet. So we have an amazing window called the cupola where we can look down. Like I was looking just earlier and saw this big hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, right now we're coming off the coast of uh, Spain, so coming close to you. So those are some of the best things to do and take pictures of our wonderful planet as well as I write a journal. Over. It's a great question. We have 16 sunrises and sunsets in a one 24-hour period, so uh, how do we live like that? We Well, we use Greenwich Mean Time because that's in the middle of our mission control centers in the United States, in Russia, in Japan. Um, and in Germany, so we try to keep a, a normal schedule for us as well as a normal schedule for the, our folks that support us. Over. Well, actually, when I was a kid, uh, I really wanted to be a veterinarian. I read uh, James Harriet's books, and that was my primary thought of uh, I love animals, so I would like to be a veterinarian, and I love science. Um, I ended up going into the military, and that's how I became a pilot and a test pilot. Uh, but I might, after I get done with this astronaut thing, become a veterinarian. We'll see. Over. Uh, the best things I think we could take with us are pictures of our family and friends. I also have a stuffed animal from uh, my elementary school um, and some little uh, pieces of jewelry that remind me of my, uh, my parents. Over. Probably the hardest part is leaving family and friends for a period of time, but being up here on the space station, we actually have the opportunity to talk to them, which is great, so we could bring them along with us. But I also do really miss my dogs because uh, I can't get I can't talk to them while I'm up here. Over. Well, you know, it really is no comparison because we don't have the opportunity to eat what, what we can eat on Earth. So what we have up here is pretty good. Actually, we had ice cream last night after dinner, and I had uh, some chicken fajitas with the tortilla. So it's not bad. Over. You know what I miss about Earth is rain and wind. Like taking my dogs for a walk, that's what I usually get to experience, and we don't have any of that up here. Over. So this is my third time to the International Space Station. Been here uh, about three and a half months, and we'll stay until February. So it's a, it's like a school year to be up here. Over. question. I actually didn't really even believe it. I went through the motions for the, all the training, but really I didn't believe it until the rocket that I was on started leaving the planet and I could feel all that vibrations and we were going and then it became a reality. Over. Wow, that's uh, an amazing question because we can see so many stars. It's so amazing. We don't have the atmosphere that blurs our vision, you know, those water droplets. And so we can actually see like billions and billions of stars in the Milky Way. And more recently, we're seeing this comet. And I think you on Earth can see it as well. Over. So I think 
uh, the question was, is space hot or cold? It's both, actually. We don't have the atmosphere to protect us and blanket us, so it's, sometimes it's very hot and sometimes it's very cold. And our space station protects us from that. Over. Space, yes, it does. When we open a hatch uh, after um, a portion of the space station has been exposed to the outside in space, it smells a little bit like burning metal. So I'm, I think that's ionization that we're smelling. So it does smell like something after a piece of equipment's been in space. Over. So sleeping is a little bit weird. You have to get used to it because um, you're floating, so you don't have a bed to lay down on. Sometimes I take my sweatshirt and wrap it around my neck so it feels like a pillow, and that helps me fall asleep. Over. My favorite planet probably is Earth because I can wear my bathing suit. On the other planets, I, won't get, I wouldn't get to do that, and I wouldn't get to jump in the ocean and swim. I think for beauty, though, I love Saturn. I always loved Saturn since I was a little kid. Over. Yes, I have done a spacewalk. Um, on my last two missions, we got to construct the International Space Station and then fix something that broke outside. So spacewalks, spacewalks are amazing because you're in your own little spacecraft, um, but you also it's also a little scary. You want to make sure that you're always tethered to the space station itself. But it's really rewarding when you can fix something outside and then come back in. Over. not sure if you can still hear me. Thank you so much uh, to everyone for tuning in. Thank you to the Duchess of Edinburgh uh, for inviting us to this event today. Um, November Alpha 1SS, over. <laughs>